I've got a handrail to make, handrail balustrade to go down some steps, a bit like this illustration here, a bit longer. Um, and they're for an old building, so they've got to be an old, old style handrail, kind of wrought iron looking kind of affair. And I have got some handrail section, this kind of thing. You can see this profile here. I've got a length of this stuff. Which will do do good for the job. But we need to have something to go on the end. You can't just have the handrail just coming down the slope and just finishing with a, with a kind of a, a sharp edge. So it needs a bit of a curl on it. And you can buy curls, but they're generally, they're either like this, quite an elaborate, fancy looking thing with a big scroll on the end. Oh, there's this type, which is what's in the picture. Or there's a, a really tight little scroll. And you, these things are 450 mil long, are they? Well, that's the bar. Where's the scroll? 400 mil long section. Oh, you can even get a big long length, 2.65 meters, which would be just the job for this uh, this one that we've got to make. But they don't they don't much like this fancy scroll. Don't much care for this one either. Um, and I said, well, can't you just curve the end down and uh, <laughs> and just um, break the edge. So I had an attempt at doing this. This was a quick experiment just to see if it could be done. And it worked out quite well. And so I'm going to have another attempt at doing this. I think this will work out on our long piece. But I need to take the scale off first because this has got to be welded up afterwards. And it would be better if it didn't have the scale on it. And I'm going to try not cutting through quite so far. So that should leave, if we can still bend it, it will leave this a bit smoother. So next, uh, next trial. I'm going to use this piece. These are offcuts from previous jobs. Um, so first stage of this, I, I will round the end off again, and then take the scale off both sides. My favourite thing for removing scale of hot rolled sections. previous worn out one. What I like about these is that they you can use them until they're worn out. It's not like a fibre disc or a flat disc or whatever that just generally gets clogged up or glazed over and you throw it away before you're halfway through using all the abrasive on it. This just You just wear these down until there's virtually nothing left. Of a loose fit on this mandrel, just trying to get the, the bolt in the middle. And these are left hand threads. So we've got another one here. 
similar sort of thing. Um, I think there's a, there's a bit of life left in this one, but uh, so we'll probably use this for a bit and we'll change this. They work better when they're full diameter. This is a surface speed is a bit slow on that, but uh, these six inch diameter, 4,000 RPM maximum. So that's pretty good in a pistol drill.
Well, that was harder work, bending that, for, for not having the cuts go quite so far through the metal, um, than the first one I did, which was here. But I'm hoping it's going to make it a little bit easier to smooth off now. And it's also this bent tighter. That's bent to a smaller radius. So it's obviously had to had to stretch the outside more. Um, so I so I probably didn't need to put the extra slot in here. I've done 12 slots here. I actually marked out more. Bit of a mistake. Um, but I think the 11 would have done. And just uh, pulling around tighter probably would have given me the the angle of the bend that I wanted. I don't think it needs to come around this far. I wanted a bit more than that one. But halfway between the two I think will be good when it comes to doing the real one. So we'll go for 11 cuts and we'll just see how we got on with uh, smoothing this off now. Right, so I've just run the TIG torch across the inside of this. So this is just fuse welded across the slots that I cut on the inside. And then I've added a little bit of fill around the edge which has remained a little bit blobby. I tried to blend it in around here, just running the torch around it, and it's still a bit bumpy. Um, so now we've got to try and smooth this off a bit, but I don't think I'm going to worry too much about making it super smooth, because if it's got kind of facets on it, I think that will go quite well with the hammered bar that I'm using for the for the uprights in this balustrade. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed this will work out okay. Um, I'll have a little practice go at this one and that will be on to doing the, the one that we actually need for the job. <laughs> 